Well, hi there, pluckers. Ivor Sawfingers back with you again for hopefully yet another interesting lesson. <laughs> A golden oldie. This one is Echo Beach from Marta and the Muffins uh, from about 1980. Their only one major international hit, as far as I know. Um, standard tuning, no capos, doing it in the same key as the original recording of uh, A minor. Okay, so um, kicking off with the uh, intro. Okay, so this can be quite tricky to start with, so start it slowly, gradually build up your speed until you get sort of finger memory coming into play. Okay, so I'll just run through it so, and then I will break it down for you. Okay, all right, here we go. Okay, so those are the two sequences. On my demo version, I played those two sequences four times before I went into the next part of the song. Uh, on the record, they do it four times, and then the band comes in and they do it another four times, and then they go on to, into the into the song itself. Okay, so it's up to you how many times you want to do that. So, what am I doing? Right. So, we're starting off with an open A string, the fifth string. Then I'm playing the fifth fret of the third string, the G string with my second finger, then I'm playing the open A again. So the first three notes are, okay, open A, third a string fifth fret, and then the open A again. Then we go down with the first finger to the fourth fret on the third string, followed by an open third string, the G string. Okay, so it's got, so far we've got slowly, open A, 5th fret of the 3rd, open A, 4th on the 3rd, open 3rd. So. OK, got that. Next part is like we've got to form a D power chord. First finger is playing the 5th fret of the 5th string, the A string. And then you play the seventh fret of the fourth and third strings with your third finger and pinky. And the first note you play is the third string with on the seventh fret with your pinky is. So when you come, it sort of go. Okay, that's that one. Then you play form the form this D power chord and play five four three. So you play that. 7th on the 3rd initially, then you do 5, 4, 3, and that's a D power chord, okay? So now you've got this very slowly. Even slower. Okay, and immediately you slide this shape down you can take the pinky off, just leave the other two fingers, the first finger and the third finger. Don't need the pinky now. Take that pinky off if you like. And slide these two down two frets to a sort of C parish chord. The um, third on the fifth there, the A string third fret, and the D string on the fifth fret for your third finger. And so now you've got this. If you can get that slide in, that's very nice. So you make it sound slightly, so it's like... Okay, so you go... So you've got that slide sound, okay? Then you play, after you slid down, you play the third on the fifth, the fifth on the fourth, and the open second. B string, okay. So now you've got this. Slowly. Okay. Now you do exactly the same again, apart from the very last note. Okay. So we do it a second time, exactly the same. But 
this time you play the fifth, the fourth, and then the open third, not the open second. Okay? And those are your two, uh, two riffs and make up the whole riff. Okay? So very slowly the whole thing. Sorry, let's do it again. Flower. Okay, so you that's the whole riff and you play that like I did on my demo, I did, I did the whole thing four times before I went into the next part of the song. Okay, so the next part of the song is basically chords. Oh, but I just mentioned, if you've got a guitarist with you, a uh, second guitar, the chords underneath that uh, intro are A minor, that bit uh, where it goes... All right, it's A minor, da, 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 D, da, C, da, 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 da. Okay, so that's all that A minor, D, C is what's going on behind this. And a bit, you know, that's, that's what's behind that intro, okay? So now, we, when you've done the intro as many times as you want to, <laughs> we go into a sequence of chords, A minor, G, E minor, F, G. Got that? So it's A minor, G, E minor, F to G, A minor, G, E minor, F, G, and then we're into the verse, okay? So you've got, so coming out of that intro, uh, Out of fashion and a trifle and cool. Right, so it comes into the verse right now, and that's A minor, D, C, first line, and second line is A minor, D, E minor, and it just goes alternate between those two patterns, alright? So it goes, I know it's out of fashion, D. C no trouble and twelve A minor D E minor A minor band and help it D C romantic A minor four D E minor A minor D C A minor D E minor A minor Tycho Beach D uh, what C song go A minor down D to E minor Right, now we go into the uh, chorus and it goes, that's it's the bit that goes from 9 to 5 I have to spend my time at work. That's just, D, uh, just a G chord and a D chord to start with, first two lines, okay? 9 to 5 I have to spend my time at work, my job is pretty boring and I'm a police clerk. So that's just G to D twice, okay? Uh, <clears throat> from 9 to 5 I have to spend my time at work My job is very boring, I'm an obvious clerk Now we do two lots of A minor to E minor The only thing that helps me pass the time away and Knowing I'll be back at Pickle Beach someday So that's just A minor to E minor twice So, G to D twice, A minor to E minor twice Here we go no, I have to spend my time at work My job is very boring, I'm an office clerk The only 
Something that helps me pass the time away There's memory and I'll be back on the good this Sunday Now we do the, those chords again that came after the intro, right? Uh, um, uh, uh, sorry, it's uh, well, it's, it's sort of it's based on the same pattern, but it starts with an F and a G to start with, okay? So you come out of that. No way, I'll be back in Echo Beach Sunday. F, G, so F to G, and then that pattern that we played at the beginning. A minor, G, E minor, F, G, A minor, G, E minor. F, G, A minor, stop. Then there's a break and then the intro comes back in again, okay? So the whole chorus is G from 9 to 5 on D with the time I put G to D. Job is very good on the high school. A minor to E minor twice. Another the time away. No ring, I'll be back in the middle of the third time. F to G. A minor, G, E minor, F to G, A minor, G, E minor, F to G to A minor. Through a break and then we go into that one again, right? It's the usual thing. So after we've done the uh, intro sequence again, um, as many times as you like, we go into verse 2, which is exactly the same to, place, uh, to play as verse 1, with different words, just A minor, D, C, A minor, D, G minor, uh, etc, etc. And then we get to the chorus again, which is the D to G, you know, the 9 to 5, I spend my time at work, that uh, the time I work bit again exactly the same to play as the first chorus we played and then we go into um, the sort of instrumental bridge okay so we come out of that um, so if I play the second chorus from the nine to five I have to spend my time at work the job is very boring I'm a market's clue the only thing that helps me pass the time away is knowing I'll be back on the road someday now it comes into the bridge section is instrumental F G B flat C again same thing F G B flat C okay so that's F however you wish to play it simple F is good four fingered F standard F with this first finger going up to the third fret of the fifth string, five downwards, pinky taken over on the third fret of the fourth string there, five downwards, or you could play a bar chord. It's up to you, however you wish to play your F. F, G, B flat, that's a simple B flat, first fret of the top E string, first finger, and then the fourth, third and second strings on the third fret with the rest of your fingers, four downwards, that way or you could play it as a bar chord there or like that or like that <laughs> or you could play it all on bar chords okay a F G sixth fret major shape B flat and then a C on the eighth fret if you want major shape or you or you could play it like I did initially there's F G B flat C and that sequence goes around twice so it goes Now it goes into like a saxophone bit and it's just the usual chord sequence right like it was at the beginning of the song A minor G E minor F to G twice Right, now we carry on playing that sequence of chords and come Echo Beach far away in time Beach. 
10 chord sequence again. Finish on an A minor. And then if you want, you can play the intro again like I did. And I just finished it like that. Okay? On my demo version, because it fades out on the original record. Just goes around that. Echo Beach far away in time, Echo Beach far away in time. It just fades away, okay? So hopefully that was helpful to you, and uh, hope you enjoyed that, and I'll see you in the next lesson. Bye for now.